the piglet and the knob. One night a thief stole a fat little piglet and put him in a sack. The piglet squealed as he was carried away, but the sack muffled the sound of the piglet's voice and his master did not hear him. The piglet was heavy and the thief had a long way to walk. After a while he decided to take a rest. He put the sack on the ground, then sat on the ground himself and leant against a tree. He didn't mean to go to sleep, but he had made the mistake of closing his eyes, and before many minutes had passed he was snoring. The fat little piglet did not like being in the sack. He squealed and fidgeted and wriggled. He huffed and he puffed and he squirmed. Now it so happened that the thief had put the sack right near a hole where a gnome had his house. The gnome was nearly deafened when the piglet squealed and nearly tipped out of bed by all the fidgeting and wriggling. He went outside to see what was causing the disturbance. He untied the sack and looked inside. Hello, he said. What are you doing in there? I've been stolen, said the piglet. I don't like it in here. I want to go home. And so you shall, said the gnome, who could understand pig talk perfectly well. He helped the piglet out of the sack and sent him on his way. Then, because he liked having a bit of fun, the gnome got into the sack himself and waited for the thief to wake up, which he did a little while later. The thief hoisted the sack onto his shoulder and set off along a dark lane. He whistled to himself and thought about all the things he could do with the piglet he had in his sack. There was another gnome sitting in one of the trees in the lane. He was a friend of the gnome in the sack. He knew his friend was about because he had heard him talking to the piglet, but he couldn't see him. Where are you, Dick? he called. The thief nearly jumped out of his skin. He looked all around. There was no sign of anyone that he could see. I must be imagining things, he thought. And then, before he had recovered from his fright, he heard another voice. A voice that came from just behind his right ear. I'm in the sack. Riding piggyback. The thief felt his hair stand on end. He thought the piglet was still in the sack. After all, hadn't he put him there himself? He dropped the sack and ran. He wanted nothing to do with a talking piglet. It would tell the whole world it had been stolen and who had stolen it. There goes someone who will never dare steal another piglet, laughed the gnomes as the thief disappeared into the distance.